Hey everyone, this is Dibya Sahu here and today I am going to talk about Domain Alignment which is sometimes also referred to as DMARC Alignment. So Domain Alignment is an important parameter that enables your email to be 100% compliant with the global email authentication frameworks. So there are different type of global authentication frameworks are there like you know SPF, DKIM, DMARC. So all these authentication frameworks, frameworks are there and domain alignment is one of the important parameter among these. So nothing guarantees a 100% inbox delivery. However, a fully compliant email add up to your reputation. And that is the reputation which we all know is very, very important metrics for achieving a high inbox placement rate. So please feel free to comment uh, below with your queries i will be happy to address those as soon as i read you can also connect with me on uh, linkedin uh, so we will have a quick chat with some of your email deliverability related problems so i have also shared some of the important links uh, to my tutorials and uh, to some of the other resources which are there around this topic so you can also browse uh, those uh, tutorials also so now let's uh, quickly jump into one example that can help you understand this domain alignment concept in detail. So first of all, I hope you all can see my screen. So here is an example uh, that appears to be coming from justjeeps.com. So you can see on the screen uh, that uh, there is a email screenshot which I have added and uh, we can see that this email is coming from justjeeps.com. I hope the screen is clear to everyone. So but why this Clevio mail domain is showing in the email? So you can see that the via domain, the mailed by domain and the signed by domain all are pointing to some Clevio mail dot uh, domain. So uh, here uh, let me show the pointer. So this domain Clevio mail dot com here mailed by domain is also same sent by domain is also same. But this domain is different from the actual sender domain that is the just chips dot com. So in this case what is uh, you can see clearly the sender domain and the all these signing domains are not at all aligned. So this is very simple to understand what is domain alignment is all about. So domain alignment. So in case of domain alignment, the sender domain should be aligned with some of these signing domains. So that's a nutshell of what domain alignment is all about. So I will go into the detail of domain alignment, but uh, this is to give you a quick idea about uh, what is domain alignment is all about. So as a recipient, there is no way I can be rest assured that this email uh, really came from justjeep.com and uh, was not really spoofed by some of the third party. So in this example, the email signing domain and the header from domain are not at all aligned. Both are different. So this is what I meant with domain alignment. So in case of alignment, these domains uh, should be the same. So that's a, uh, as I said, that's a broader overview of what is domain alignment. So now let's debug more and see how to fix this domain alignment issue in this email. So this is a detailed view of the email header. Uh, in this you can see that uh, SPF and DKM are passed, but both are checking just Jeep instead referring to the third party domain Clivio. So let me uh, focus my pointer here. So here on the screen you can see uh, these header informations are there. So the SPF is passed on this clevio-mail.com and the DKM signature is also referring to this clevio-mail.com. So both are referring to the same clevio-mail but no one is referring to really just chips.com. So that means uh, domain authentic email authentication is done on some other domain uh, but not really the sender domain 
which is sending this particular email. So the end user actually assumes that this email came from justjibs.com that is the header from domain but neither SPF nor the DKM authenticates the header from domain. So SPF actually authenticates the envelope from domain and the DCAM authenticates the domain which is there in the D equal to value in the uh, record. So which can be different from actually the header from domain. So the sender domain can be easily spoofed. So the concept of domain alignment with SPF and DCAM was introduced to ensure that the various sending elements are all part of the same organization. So to fix this problem, actually DMAR came into picture. And uh, so we all know uh, DMARC requires domain alignment. So DMARC promotes the use of header from domain for signing or authenticating emails. So uh, unlike SPF and DCAM, which works on the envelope from domain, uh, DMARC really works on the header from domain which is that is the just chips which was visible in the email so uh, now let's talk about uh, in detail about this uh, dmark uh, thing so one of the domains authenticated by spf or dcam should actually align with the domain found in the from header address and that is what DMARC alignment is all about or the domain alignment is all about. So unless uh, one of the domains authenticated by SPF or DCAM is not aligned with the domain found in the from header address, DMARC will really not pass. So now on the screen, I am showing you some of the uh, DMARC evaluation uh, parameters. So if the SPF is passed, when I say SPF is passed, it is aligned with the header from domain. So uh, SPF is passed on the header from domain, then DMARC will also pass. If DCAM is passed on the header uh, from domain, then DMARC will also pass. If SPF and DCAM both on the header from domain are getting passed, so uh, then DMARC also pass. So it can be a scenario where SPF passes on the header from domain, but DMARC doesn't pass, doesn't uh, consider that header from domain and it passes on the envelope from domain. That is also okay. So as I said, one of the parameter, whether SPF or DCAM should actually pass on the from uh, header from address and that is when DMARC will pass. So here uh, I have shown some uh, DMARC fail scenario also. So for example, a email only has SPF and uh, that SPF is also not on the header from uh, address. Uh, then in that case, DMARC will really fail. Similarly, if there is only DCAM signature is there, not the SPF is not present in that case uh, and that DCAM, DCAM is also uh, like getting failed. So then in that case also DMARC will also fail. Same uh, the third condition that is SPF and DKM both are getting failed then DMARC will also fail. So DMARC is highly dependent on SPF and DCAM to get passed. So one of these SPF or DCAM should really pass on the from header domain and that is when DMARC will also pass. So now let's uh, move to the next slide. So here uh, I will be talking about uh, what really uh, happens uh, when DMARC fails. So DMARC is actually having three levels of uh, policy uh, decisions you can say. So the first level of implementation is P equal to none in which uh, inside the DMARC record you will be mentioning P equal to none. So P equal to none means uh, don't so it's like a uh, instruction to the mailbox provider that don't take any action uh, if DMARC fails. So this will actually be having no impact on your delivery.
because you are giving an instruction to the mailbox providers that don't take any actions even if the DMARC fails. So it's like the basic implementation of uh, DMARC. So uh, coming to the uh, next uh, uh, level when that is P equal to quarantine. So P equal to quarantine is uh, the uh, next level of the implementation where uh, the message will actually uh, get. So if the DMARC is getting failed and in that case you are giving an instruction to the mailbox provider that messages that fail the DMARC should be uh, quarantined or should be marked as spam or should be moved into the spam folder. So that's the instruction which you are giving to the mailbox provider. Similarly, the third level of implementation is P equal to reject. It is, this is the most strictest level of uh, DMARC implementation in which if the messages are getting failed, then you are giving an instruction to the mailbox provider to directly reject your emails. So that's how the DMARC implementation really works. So DMARC alignment has two modes. The first mode is strict mode. The SPF and DCAM should be done on the header from domain. So that's what strict mode is all about. So as I said, uh, either SPF or DCAM should uh, be done on the header from domain. But in the strict mode, both SPF and DCAM should be done on the uh, header from domain. In the relaxed mode, uh, any one of like whether SPF or uh, DCAM can be done uh, on the header from domain but uh, the other one can be done on a subdomain or a different domain also next i have given a example of strict alignment uh, in this uh, you can see uh, there is there is a one email example is there so where the sender from domain is jenny at the rate domain dot com and the envelope is uh, something at the rate domain.com so SPF in this case the SPF is getting passed on this uh, domain.com so which is actually a strict SPF check here so this particular email is following the strict SPF implementation similarly uh, I have taken the example uh, in which the sender domain is uh, Jenny at the rate domain.com and DCAM is signed on domain.com so which is again a strict DCAM implementation because DCAM is uh, getting signed on the header from domain and uh, similarly SPF is also getting signed on the uh, header from domain so both are actually following the strict uh, domain uh, policy here and the domains are aligned so both are strict SPF plus strict DCAM so in this case also DMARC will really pass and this is actually a very strict DMARC implementation uh, which is being done. Coming to the next slide. So in this uh, you can see uh, the header from domain is uh, domain.com but the envelope is mail.domain.com and the SPF is signed on this particular subdomain of the main domain or the organization domain that is domain.com so in this case it is not a strict spf implementation because spf is implemented on a subdomain of the main domain so this is known as relaxed spf implementation similarly uh, this in the same email the dcam is signed on the uh, d equal to domain that is uh, domain.com here and which is e similar to what uh, is mentioned in the header from so DCAM is actually strict DCAM here so one is relaxed that is SPF is relaxed and uh, DCAM is strict even in this case DMARC will pass because one of the record is already done on the header from domain but this is not a really a strict DMARC uh, implementation uh, this is this is like a relaxed DMARC implementation so I hope uh, the informations which I shared uh, today is uh, helpful and uh, you are now able to know what is domain alignment is all about. Just to summarize, domain alignment means either the SPF or the DCAM should be passed on the header from domain that is the domain which is visible to the end user 
in the email so like uh, if the email is coming from info at the rate microsoft.com or hr at the rate microsoft.com then the spf or the dcam should be done on the microsoft.com instead of the any envelope domain so that is what uh, domain alignment is all about hope the information was uh, helpful if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i would be happy to answer those thank you so much bye bye